What's up everybody, this is Aaron Pryor from Raiden Designs and I'm here today to show you how to create a metallic button in Sketch. Not a Metallica button, but a metallic button. Maybe something they have on their amps, guitars, I don't know. But anyway, when I was trying to figure out how to do this in Sketch, I was only able to find uh, tutorials in Photoshop which used a, uh, a radial blur effect. As far as I know, Sketch doesn't have that, but I will show you how I went about doing it in Sketch. So let's bring up Sketch. I'm going to hit O on my keyboard for oval. Hold down sh uh, Shift to draw out a proportional circle, and we'll make it huge. Come over to the fill. We're going to change that to A9, A9, A9. Enter. Come over here to alpha, and I'm going to change that to 50. Okay, we're going to come up to the top here and click on angular gradient. Say that real fast. I'm going to click this first point on the left hand side. I'm going to make sure this is our A9, A9 color. Hit enter. I'll come over to the right side point for our gradient. That's already set to A9, which is cool. That's what we want. And then I'll drop in some more points here. So I'm going to double click, drop in our first point, and I'm going to click and drag this way down, maybe to about there. So something darker, then I'll come over here, drop in another point, we'll drag this up to a lighter color, drop in our next point, same thing, come down, something darker, you could make those consistent if you wanted to, I'm going to double click, add a lighter color, I'm going to add one, two, three, four, let's drop in two more, I'm going to double click, drag it down to something darker and last one double click drag this up to something lighter and there you go you could add some more points I've just added six and I'm good with that and that alone looks like a pretty good metallic button you could use that you could probably get away with it I'm gonna spice it up just a little bit I'm gonna add a border let's change the thickness Let's go three. We'll make sure it's an outside border. Set the color to something a little bit darker. That's good. All right, and let's add in a drop shadow just for giggles. There we go, that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit R for rectangle. Let's draw out a rectangle here. And I'm going to make this a width of 20. Uh, height is probably good. We'll leave it at 120. I'm going to go ahead and center this. Let's set a color. Let's do something. I want red. Let's go for this green color. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and click Inner Shadow. We'll add an Inner Shadow to that. I'm going to change the X on this to 3. Tab over to the Y. We'll change that to 2. The X is bringing the shadow over from the left to the right. So with each increase in value, it's going to bring that shadow over. With the Y, each increase in value is going to drag it down. And my dogs are going crazy out there. <laughs> Check on that in a little bit. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's take it a step further. I'm going to hit O for oval. Let's find our center point here. And if you drag your crosshairs to the middle, you'll see the smart guides pop up. I'm going to hold down Alt Shift to draw out a circle from the center. And let's draw that out to about. Let's do it to there. And I want to get my rectangle and bring that up a bit. So I'm going to just hit the up arrow on my keyboard, bring that up. Let's select our circle again. I'm going to hit Command D to duplicate. Let's change the fill color so we can see what we're working with here. Make sure our circle is selected. I'm going to hold down Alt Shift, grab a corner, drag it in until I get a thickness that I want. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to keep that top circle selected. Hold down Shift on my keyboard. Click that bottom circle and then click Subtract. 
All right, so that's pretty good. Let's get a triangle. I'm gonna click insert, shape, triangle. Let's draw out a triangle, something like that. I'm gonna flip it vertically. I'm gonna drag it down. Let's make the width on this something even. 308 is probably good. Let's bring it down to about there. Okay, so my triangle selected. I'm going to hold down shift, highlight this little ring, click it. I've got both of those items selected. I'm going to click subtract. And if you look at that, you'll notice that it's got a kind of an angle on it. It's not exactly straight. So to fix that, I'm going to click the little drop down in the layers panel for my combined shape here. Click the triangle. Come over here to edit. Grab this bottom point, and I'm just going to drag it down. And if you look at the points, or you look at the uh, the cutaway on our ring, drag it down to where it looks straight, and that looks good to me. So I'm done. I'm going to come up here, click Finish Editing in the upper right. Click off. That looks good. Let's click our ring, and let's set it to a color that's a little bit darker. That's probably good. I'm going to click out of that. I'm going to click an inner shadow. And let's set maybe the same values as before. I'm going to do X3, tab over to Y. I'm going to set that to 2. And that looks pretty good. Now, if you want to take it a step even further, hit O for oval. Let's find our center point again. I'm going to hold down Alt Shift. Now, this is the tedious part just to warn you beforehand. I'm going to draw out a circle. We'll come over here to the right side. I'm going to uncheck fill. I'm going to check the border. Let's click the color and let's drag this down to a darkish color. 1F, 1F. Looks good. I'm going to change the alpha to 5. And let's see, is that all we want to do for now? Yes, right there. And then Gaussian Blur. Let's click that. And we're going to change the pixel to 1. So I'm going to put a 1 there, hit enter. You can barely see that. I'm going to Command D to duplicate it. Hold down Alt Shift, drag it out. Command D to duplicate that again. Hold down Alt Shift. And we're just going to keep replicating this process. Command D, Alt Shift, drag it out. D, Alt Shift. Command D, Alt Shift. And just keep duplicating and dragging. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video for a minute and finish that off, and then I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, so there we go. I've got my lines there. A couple things you may have noticed when you're dragging these out. First thing is, is they're overlapping your uh, your ring here and your rectangle. You can fix that. Come over to the layers panel. I'm going to grab my rectangle, drag it above all of these oval copies. I'm going to grab my combined shape, which is that ring. I'm going to drag that above all these copies. So fix number one. Let's grab all of these little rings. You'll notice that maybe they're not exactly centered. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to select all of my ovals all the way down to the center. Then I'm going to make sure I select the main circle. So hold down Command, select that. Come up here to the upper right alignment tools. I'm going to align horizontally, align vertically. Those are all evenly spaced now, which is good. It's another fix. Uh, what else? So you've got all of these ovals now. And that looks pretty good. You can fine-tune it even more. You can click individually. Also, when you're when you're creating these, you don't exactly want to stagger it at the same... or you do want to stagger it. You don't want to put them at even spacing. So some you want a little bit farther, some you want a little bit closer. So fine-tuning, you can come in, click a ring, hit Command-D to drop another one on top, and that will in effect darken it. 
So that's one way of doing it. Or you could come over here to the color, darken it that way. It's just a little bit quicker. Just for the heck of it, because you're going to probably combine this anyway. So there you go. That's what I've got. You could also come over here, select all of your ovals. I'm going to hold down Shift to make sure everything's selected in the Layers panel. Come over to your color. You can drag this color, make it darker. Come up, drag it to a lighter color, and make it fade away just a little bit. Get it to where you like it. I'm just going to play with it up and down. That's pretty good. Let's go down a little bit. And there, that's kind of what I ended up with. You could you know, fine tune this however you want. That's kind of how I went about doing it and it looks pretty good. You can change the color of this uh, inner ring here. You could change the color of your rectangle here. But all in all, I'd say pretty good effort. Zoom out, it looks like a pretty good metallic button. You could drop that into your app or whatever you're designing and uh, change it to make it look how you want. That would probably increase the uh, width of these, make them a little thicker if you're going to shrink it down a bit. But all in all, that's how I did it. Hope you like it. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought or maybe how you did it differently and what you did to uh, get it looking uh, all nice and fancy. Anyway, thanks for watching.